Ho! Oh, hello there! Skating on ice is a very famous sport practiced worldwide. Well, almost, and one that most people have probably heard of. However, what the majority of people don't ask themselves, as with all the things we take as natural, is why are we able to skate on ice? After all, ice is a solid, and if we try to skate on steel, for example, the result would not be a pleasant one, to say the least. The answer to this question is pretty obvious. It's because ice is slippery. So, the question with a not so obvious answer would be, why is ice slippery? In this video, we'll offer some insight into this amazing problem that has puzzled scientists for over a century and give some possible explanations to this effect. So, the first proposed explanation to ice slipperiness is related with pressure melting, that is, the decrease of the melting temperature due to increasing pressure, which creates a thin layer of water on top of the ice, making it slippery. This effect can be understood in terms of Le Satellier's principle. To balance the increasing pressure, the water's ice system reacts in a way that will lower it. Since the liquid state of water occupies less volume than its, than its solid state, and like most substances, there will be a decrease of the melting temperature, allowing more ice to become water, thus decreasing the pressure of the system. Although this was regarded as the main explanation for nearly a century, it still quite doesn't make the cut. Let's understand why. The pressure is given by the applied force divided by the area over which it is applied. Let's assume the case in which the only external force is the gravitational one. Let's also consider that the pressure is being applied by the tip of the blade with an area of 8.45 mm2. For an individual with a mass of 70 kg, the resulting total pressure is about 0.81 kΑt. Looking into an ice water phase diagram, we see that, for the ice 1H ice, this represents a drop in the melting temperature of about 5 degrees Celsius. Although this explains why ice is slippery at temperatures above this value, we know that skating is also possible at temperatures far below, which means we need another explanation. On a cold day, perhaps you've tried to rub your hands against one another to make them warmer? This is called frictional heating. The same principle applies for ice skating, in which the friction resulting from the movement of the skate causes the temperature of the blade to rise, melting the ice underneath it. Well, this approach explains why it is possible to skate at low temperatures, it has one major flaw. Ice is still slippery even when you are standing still or using regular shoes. So, let's look into a more recent explanation that doesn't suffer from the same problems as the previous two. A recent study has proposed that there is one molecular layer of mobile water at the surface of ice that lubricates the contact. This simulation shows a water molecule that diffuses over the ice surface in a rolling motion through exchange of the hydrogen bond partner. This occurs by breaking the hydrogen bonds of the topmost water molecules, which happens more frequently as the temperature increases, so we expect ice to be more slippery at temperatures closer to melting. This eye mobility allows water molecules to fill in any defects on the ice surface very rapidly. In this fast motion video, we see that even a very deep scratch is filled in by the surface diffusion. This makes the surface very smooth, which also contributes to its slipperiness. In this experiment, we let the same object slide from the same tilting angle at different temperatures in order to compare the slipperiness of the ice surface. We note that, at temperatures near the melting point, it takes about the same time for the object to slide across the ice. At much lower temperatures, however, the object has a much higher resistance to sliding, suggesting that the ice surface is no longer slippery. Looking at the results of this simple experiment, we expect that the temperature of ice in skating rinks should be near the melting point. We find that the temperature varies between minus 5 and minus degrees Celsius for most ice skating rinks.